Now, this is a funny one. This is what caught me out when I first started using Machine with the Ableton Live template. And what it is, is that I wanted to actually start triggering Machine for within Ableton Live, not using the Machine app, which is what we got running. So look. That's a 909 coming from the machine app. I wanted to do this using the Ableton Live controller. So shift plus control, you can see that loaded up here. So the Ableton Live 9 controller. Now when I'm in the pad mode, all I get is that last selected sound pitched up and down the keyboard. And that's really frustrating because, I mean, yeah, it's great if you want to make some trap or something like that where that sound is going to be important, but I can't do anything else with the rest of the kit. So this is a little quick tip to show you. What you need to do is to make sure you've got the group selected. So you've got here the different groups available up the top. Now I've only got one loaded, so it's only going to be the first one. But if you had another one, make sure it's the right group that you want to use. So over here, down on the bottom section, we've got the ability to drop down here. You want to set up the sound MIDI batch setup. Maybe it's on something else for you when you do it. And in fact, I had this on the right setting, but I need to reset this, all right? So the root note is defining where the first sound in that kit is going to be. C3 is the default, and that should pretty much work. There may be a problem in terms of the octave that your pads are set to here, and I'll show you how you get around that in a second. So we've just done that, and now, this is using the Ableton Live template, of course. If you find that you can't hear sounds, make sure you push your octave and then rotate. See the bottom left-hand corner, it's showing you what the octave is, so make sure that's set to octave C3. Also make sure you're not using any of these scale presets because you'll be missing out on some sounds. And um, you know, over here when I push your octave, when I move it up or down, you can see it's set to chromatic and that's exactly what you want it to be. Let me just show you the scale here again. And you can see here, you've got different scales, pad, major, minor, etc. So coming back to chromatic, that's what we want so that the kits can play. Get your octave set to C3, scale to chromatic. And then you can start recording into Ableton Live using Machine.